my gosh, so like, how was your day? Like, I'm not, I'm really, like, really dreading school at this point. I really have no idea. I know, I, this test is making me like super nervous. I just like really, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, Michaela. Call 911. Check on him. There's been an accident at Berea Community. I don't know what to do. There, there's kids. Ever there's blood everywhere. Okay, all right, and it's in front of Berea Community. Yes, said? right in front of the bus loop. I have no idea what's going on. It looks so bad. Some kid is hanging out the okay. window. Can you all please hurry? I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. Okay, honey, just calm down for me. I want to go ahead and get everybody started. Okay. Okay. And is it? Is it two vehicles? Yes, two vehicles. There's like six kids, maybe. Okay, everybody. The initial officer, Officer Shepard, he showed up first. So the first thing that he's going to do, he's going to start checking for injuries. He's going to see who's the most injured. Obviously, this guy here in the silver car is going to be the most injured. As additional officers arrive, they're going to start trying to figure out what happened. They're going to start seeing if there are any witnesses try to start putting together what happened. 4891, I'll be in route to that 46 free community. I'm getting everybody started, just hang with me. Okay. okay. I have no idea how many are injured. Somebody's hanging out the window. In the bus line. Okay, sorry. There's blood. I mean, there's blood everywhere. There rescue one and rescue two copy be connected. Okay, or right. is the vehicle uh, overturned or anything like that? No, they've T boned each other. Okay. I think two be tonight. Okay, and um, I is, is there anyone trapped besides the, the kid there that... Yeah, the driver's side of one of the cars is trapped. They've got the doors open. No one is station two. Respond to Brief Media School, one power pathway, Brief Media School, one power pathway, Brief Media School, vehicle 1046, it's going to be in the bus lane, I'm not sure they're at this time. The initial responding officers are going to communicate what they're seeing. I'm at the school, you need to come up here right now. What, Malia? Are you kidding me? What's going on, Malia? What? I just need to come to school right now. To the, to the Maria? To the school? Yeah, right in front of the school. What's going on? There's been an accident. I think I'm so sorry. Is it okay? Is he going to be okay? I have no idea. Just come down. So the fire department is going to start taking care of the most injured people. As the emergency medical services arrive, they're going to communicate to them. Who's the most injured? assessing how they need to get the patients out of the car, the police officers you know, still continue to try to put together what happened. So we see a lot of different pieces of equipment being unloaded. So sometimes we, the fire department has to cut people out of the car. You may have heard of the jaws of life. They have to cut the car around the person and try not to move the person as much as possible. So first they have to stabilize the car to make sure that it doesn't move. And then as they're doing that, they'll start to cut the car apart to get the people out. Now we can see Deputy Stotts here has one of the drivers. And he suspects that she is under the influence. So when that's the case, he's gonna administer what's called field sobriety testing. It's a series of tests that are used to determine whether or not she's under the influence. As we can see, the coroner has just pulled up, so EMS has decided that someone is deceased. They're on the scene, so they've called for the coroner. The coroner's job is to determine the cause of death, and he is also in charge of taking care of not the body. So if you look over towards the ambulance here, we can see that Deputy Stotts has determined this young lady's under the influence and she's going to be arrested. If we look over guys at the gray vehicle, we can see Deputy Stotts has already placed the driver under arrest, but you can see what he's pulling out of the car. There are several alcohol containers, which is also going to be now become evidence because criminal charges are going to be filed against the driver. You see the hood on the black car is completely gone. They've had to cut it around the, the driver. 
if you look over at the gray car, you see the sheet over the person. That means that person is deceased. They're taking their gurney out and they're going to be loading up the, the dead person and taking them away. Uh, the police officer is going to start collecting evidence, which at this point is definitely going to be the alcohol containers. They're going to start. The person who was charged with DUI, they're probably going to take them to the hospital. They're going to get a blood draw from them to find out their level of intoxication. So they made the decision to call in a helicopter to take those people directly to the hospital.